What's up everybody, Danny Lightning back with another War Robots video. Today we're checking out pilot skills. We're going to go over all the important ones in my opinion. We're going to tell you the very best ones that you must have for all robots. And then we're going to go over some of the special ones. Like some robots will have a physical shield, so there's skills for that. Some robots have an energy shield, there's skills for that. Some robots will do have an ability that deals damage, and there's skills for that. So we're going to look at some of the specialized ones, plus the generalized ones that should go on every single robot. All right, if you guys like this content, please hit that like button. Share this video with your friends. That would be super awesome and hit that little bell set those notifications all so you don't miss any good uploads or giveaways or anything like that all right so let's go ahead and pull these pilot skills up and check these things out all right so first off you've got your armor expert skill which gives your robot more durability that is a must next is your mechanic the majority of the robots you're probably going to want to run a mechanic on it this is one that you can skip but it's really a big help because when you get out of a battle, that will slowly heal you up and give you more hit points. I think mechanic is extremely important and a must have on almost every robot, but you can skip it if you really want to. Roadhog, increased speed, guys. You got to have that one. Destroyer. So if your robot has an ability that does damage, the destroyer skill will make the robot's ability do more damage. Of course, not all robots have an ability like that, so that's only available on some, but the destroyer is very important. Adamant Roadhog, guys. That means if the enemy has three or more beacons, you're going to get even more speed. This is one of those skills that's a must-have on a lot of robots. Any robot that's crazy fast, you want to put this on there if you play a lot of beacon games. You don't have to have this, but it's a very, very important skill for a lot of these robots. Next is the Death Survivor. This is a really awesome skill. All right. And Clever Survivor. They're kind of the same thing. When your robot has an ability, once you drop below 50% health, it's going to recharge the ability. Now, I don't, don't really know why they made a Death Survivor and a Clever Survivor, but this skill here, it doesn't actually need to be upgraded to gold, all right? This skill can be blue, it can be purple, it doesn't matter what, what tier the skill is, because no matter what, it does the same exact thing at Tier 1, Tier 2, and Tier 3. So if you get a Death Survivor or a Clever Survivor, don't make it the gold. The only reason my Clever Survivor is gold is because I got to roll. You know, you can roll for a random skill, and sometimes it'll give you a gold skill, and that's what happened here. But Clever Survivor and Death Survivor, leave them at the lowest tier. Now, here comes some of the specialized ones, all right? Those are some of the main ones I would pick for almost every robot. Now, Ghost. Some robots have a skill called Ghost, like the Lancelot, or the Cossack, there's a couple guys, but it takes away their ability, but gives them crazy amounts of speed. Look at this, 68.75% more speed for a gold ghost on Lancelot. That makes your slow robot crazy fast, all right? So ghost is a very important skill on some of those older robots that are super slow, and it's worth losing your ability. For example, Lancelot has an ability where you hit the button and he moves faster for a few seconds. Well, this makes him do 70, almost 70% 70 more speed 24-7. So you know what? Ghost is amazing. All right, so some robots have physical shields and energy shields. So if your robot has either of those things, or maybe both, Physical Shield Expert, Crazy Electrician, and Energy Shield Expert are very, very important. All three of those are super important on any robot that's got a built-in Energy Shield or Physical Shield. So you might need to skip some of the skills over on the left side to add these Shield skills, all right? They're very, very important. Now on your tanky robots, all right, there's a skill called Tough Guy. So Tough Guy is great for Invader, for your Finrare, for your T-Falcon. Any tanky robot is probably going to have a Tough Guy skill available. Now, you do a little bit uh, a little less weapon damage. I mean, 3% less weapon damage to get, gain almost 20% more hit points. I'll take those hit points over the weapon damage every day. So for tanks, Tough Guy is a must-have, guys. All right. Scout. Spy. 
All right, these are two extra movement speeds that only some robots have. For example, a Roach yes, Scout, and the Spy. So if you add Scout, Spy, Roadhog, and Adamant Roadhog, you are going to have a crazy, crazy, crazy fast robot. And if you can somehow add a Ghost along with that, it's going to be nuts. All right. I'm not really sure if there's any any robot available that's going to have Ghost, Spy, and Scout all available because the, sp the, the Spy, the Scout, and the Ghost are only available on some robots, all right? So now we're going to go with the last two I find very important would be Foolhardy Quartermaster, all right? So after you hit 50% health, after you lose 50% of your health, I should say, you're going to recharge a module, so you'll be able to use your healing unit or your phase shift or whatever it is again once you get below 50% health. And then we have something called the Dodger, which is very cool. All right, the Dodger allows you to recharge any of your modules faster. Like if you're using a healing unit, well, if you put this on there, you'll be able to use it 30% sooner. It will reduce the cooldown. All right, so very, very good skills to have, guys. All right, so I think there's three other skills that I didn't put on the list that I'm going to go ahead and mention right now. We got the module expert, which makes all of your modules last longer. So let's just say you hit your healing module that lasts for five seconds. If you add that skill, it's probably going to last for like seven seconds. And that's a really good skill to have on your tanks. Now you got a new skill on some robots called the daredevil, which he'll lose his ability, but he'll gain more damage. That's only available on one or two robots at the moment that I can remember. And then finally, we have the traditionalist skill, which will usually take away a robot's ability, but give it something like 60% more hit points, 50 or 60%. I'd have to look it back up, but that's good for your tanks. All right. Like Revenant has that ability. Uh, Falcon has that ability and if you add that it becomes crazy crazy tough So I didn't put those on the main list there, but those are some excellent skills guys All right, so I think we went over all the main important skills There might be a few really odd ones here and there because some robots will have skills that are only available on that robot And other robots don't have it So there might be a couple weird ones that we missed and looked over that are beneficial to certain robots, but those are the main skills I think you guys want to look at. Now, you do have seven slots, all right? You've only got seven, uh, seven pilot slots to add skills. So sometimes you're just going to have to look at the robot and say, well, I can't have this one on this one, but I need this one or, you know, blah, blah, blah. So you're going to have to really pick and choose which ones are the very most important for that particular robot. All right. Seven's not enough, but hey, seven's what we got. So those are the ones I would look at guys all right let's go ahead and play a game and have a little bit of fun hopefully this little guide on the pilot skills helped because I'll tell you what those are definitely some of the best pilot skills out there and yeah armor expert mechanic roadhog you need to have those three on pretty much everything in my opinion and then after that you can kind of pick and choose which ones are the best for the next uh the next four skills all right so let's go ahead and play that game and have a little bit of fun. All right, let's go ahead and drop in with our regular Fafnir. I'm trying to get a really good video today, but the, the games are lasting like two minutes, two, three minutes all day this morning. Our team is just wrecking everybody. So that's good footage, but that's not a good battle. I'm trying to get a good, nice, fair battle. So far, I've played about three games, so this is going to have to be my last one. So hopefully this battle ends up going good. I don't like the one-sided ones where my team just wrecks the other or the other team wrecks ours. Those battles aren't really fun. So let's wait for this guy to start shooting me. There we go. Let's get up in the air. All right, now we're being shot. Come on, charge my shield. Charge my shield. We're going to get on out of here. We're going to try and damage these guys from back here. All right, I don't want to let that shell get too close. So we're going to go ahead and find somebody else that we can shoot for a minute. He's a little too far away. All right, let's go after this guy. Where'd it go? Oh, it's a Revenant. Come on, let's get him. Let's get him. 
Let's hit that healing module. We get a little extra damage out of this. The drone I set up does 70% more damage every time I hit those healing modules. Plus, I think I get like 35% uh, defense points. That guy locked me down. We're going to go ahead. I was going to land, but I'm actually EMP'd. There we go. All right, he's got a shield up. Man, they whomped on me. So we're going to need that healing module here in a second. All right, healing module's good. So let's go back in for some more fights. We're going to mothership those guys. Watch, we're going to hit a bunch of them all at once. But bam that did some nice damage. We got a kill. And up in the air we go. Nope, never mind. We're going to go ahead and wait a second. As long as the scorpion doesn't come in here, which I have a bad feeling is going to, then we're going to be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go up in the air. Hopefully somebody shoots my shield and charges it up. I don't think they're going to. Yeah, they are. Sweet. Keep doing it. Keep shooting my shield, sirs. I know I'm low on health, but yes. I should be able to do some nice damage before they finally take me down. Let's go after this Nightingale. We're going to chase him over here. So don't. There we go. Perfect. He does have a last stand. All right. He got me. I'm not surprised. Let's go and bring in our Orochi. I think it's Orochi time. We're going to go ahead and head on over. Uh, looks like they're in the back trying to steal our back beacons. So we're going to Oh, there's a Miramid. It's not wonderful. Um, what do we do here? What do we do? Okay, they're getting that beacon. I'm going to go ahead and let them have this one. And we're going to fight for their home. We're going to go after their home beacon. So that guy's all in stealth right now. It's probably an Orochi. Let's go after this dude. All right, shredded. We got him. And I think this is a good opportunity to take this home. So I'm going to go ahead and go into stealth so he can't hit me, but I can sure hit him, right? We're going to beat this squishy dude up real quick. And here we go. Another ability charge. Come on, come on, come on. I'm going to run away for a minute. I don't want him to go up in the air and hit me. There he is. So he's probably going to try and kill me. We're going to have to wait just a second. As soon as he lands, right? There we go. I don't know where he went. Did someone kill him? There he is. Let's go ahead and go back into stealth. Let's hit that, that module to get more damage. And we got him. We got him. Let's hit those guys with the mothership. We'll go ahead and run on over this way for a second. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Crap sandwiches. All right. Here comes somebody to try and take the beacon back. Oh, there's a bunch of them. That's not good. So I'm going to do my best to hold on to this thing for a few minutes. I don't know if I can, but we're going to give it a try. All right, here they come. Let's go ahead and hit the healing. Come on, Mr. Fenrir. Let's go shoot that guy back there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, no, I'm locked. No. Oh, oh man. All right. I think we're going to bring in our Aminos. This has actually been a really fun game so far. Our team seems to be winning. Uh, What do I do at this point? They got titans everywhere. Let's go ahead and run up over this way. Finish this guy off real quick. All right, I'm going to go ahead and charge up in the... Hey, battle ended, all right? So I don't really have time to record anymore. That was a pretty good battle. It was fun. I had a good time. So we're going to go ahead and use that one. 2.5 million damage, three kills. Not too bad. Not too bad. Came in second place. That guy doesn't even have a name. How's, how's he work that out? So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. Make sure you share this with your friends, and we will catch you next time, all right? See you guys later.